tune into Nice Radio every Saturday at 7:30 a.m. for A View from the Outside, hosted by Brayton Horn. A View from the Outside takes a look at key issues affecting St. Vincent and the Grenadines and gives a global perspective on how these issues are viewed. Host Brayton Horn will examine a variety of topics to enlighten, stimulate debate, and explore solutions. Hear the facts, hear the real life stories. Here, a view from the outside. Join Brayton Horn at 7:30 a.m. every Saturday on Nice Radio for a view from the outside. This society need a spectacle. It might help us to see some evil. This society need a spectacle. On a, on a view from the outside this week. This week being the 13th of January 2024, we look at pressure. P R E double S U R E pressure. And we do so recognizing the fact that generally politicians react to public pressure and public outrage. The Merriam Webster Dictionary defines pressure as a force or influence that cannot be avoided. And the Collins Dictionary states that if there is pressure on a person, someone is trying to persuade or force them to do something. And the Collins Dictionary gives an example. It states, the political pressures to do something are enormous. Those definitions tell us that pressure is a force, not necessarily physical, which you put on someone to get them to do something. When you pressure someone, you try to influence them to do or not do something. When you pressure someone, you try to persuade them to do or not do something or to stop doing something for that matter. It is in that context of those definitions that we here on A View From The Outside pursue this topic today. Currently, in England, there is a public inquiry into the situation where hundreds of post office workers were wrongly accused of falsifying their daily takings and stealing money from the post office. Many of them were sacked, some of them were prosecuted, and many were wrongly convicted and received hefty prison sentences. For years, hundreds of them heroically fought and mounted pressure on the establishment, including the courts, the government, and other culpable organizations, including the post office itself, to correct the wrongs done to them. It is important to note that their efforts was started by just one man who was determined to get justice for himself and others. Some of them have already succeeded in having their convictions overturned in the Court of Appeal. As the pressure mounted, the Conservative government has now taken the unprecedented step to bypass the Court of Appeal and pass a law to have hundreds of other convictions overturned en masse. Pressure has also made the government announce that millions of pounds in compensation will be paid to those who were wronged. A British Tory or conservative politician, Kevin Hollenrake, in response to questions put to him, pertaining to the government's eventual response to what has now become known as the post office scandal, said, and I quote, whatever people think, politicians respond to public pressure and public outrage, unquote. Yes, Vincentians, whenever there is public pressure and public outrage, politicians respond. It is important to remember that. Whenever there is public pressure and public outrage, 
others respond also. It is interesting to note here that Paula Venels, the CEO or the chief executive officer who was at the helm of the post office when the travesties took place, was awarded a CBE, which is a commander of the British Empire, for services to the post office. She too had to succumb to public pressure and public outrage, and she handed back her CBE after over 1.2 million people signed the petition for her to do so. Yes, Vincentians, public pressure and public outrage caused politicians and others to respond. Pressure causes them to act and to react. That lesson about the post office workers who were wronged in the most egregious way and who did not cower in fear, ought to serve as a wake-up call to Vincentians. It ought to serve as a wake-up call because over the years, those in power in the country have been allowed to get away with too much. Should there not have been sustained public pressure and public outrage on the government for having taken away Marcus de Freitas's property and for decades now refusing to compensate him despite there being a court order to do so? Should there not be sustained public outrage, public pressure on the government for having destroyed the multi-million dollar business of Bigger Bigs? Should there not be sustained pressure an outrage for the way they have systematically lynched and destroyed bigger bigs economically? Should there not be sustained public pressure and public outrage on the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines for what was meted out to Yogi Farrell? Should there not be sustained public pressure and public outrage on the government for what eventually transpired in the case of Cornelius John and the travesty of justice which he suffered? Should there not be sustained public pressure and public outrage on the government and the police pertaining to the CJ Weeks matter? Should there not be sustained public pressure and public outrage on the government for not providing you, the Vincentian people, with adequate health care? Should there not be sustained public pressure and public outrage on the government for all the atrocities done to so many people in the country over the years? And how about those outrageous things which the government is doing currently? Should there not be sustained public pressure and public outrage on them for those? Vincentians, you yourselves are under pressure. You know it, you feel it, you say it. The government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines is putting you under pressure. Many a time when your neighbor asks you how things are, your response sometimes is pressure, meaning you're finding it difficult to cope. And sometimes you get the response, Pressure does burst pipe, meaning be careful, things could spill over. Vincentians, you are bawling about the exorbitant tax rises in the country. Yet, there is no sustained public pressure and public outrage on the government. They know that the taxes are too high, and they know that the taxes will cripple you. Could that be why they said they have corrected some of the figures which they originally presented in the budget? Could it be why they chose to shut down the budget debate in the House of Parliament so that the real truth of its contents was not recorded in the Hansard? Vincentians, they are pressuring you. You are feeling the effects. You feel the effects of 
high unemployment. You are the ones who are sacked when you refused to take the COVID-19 vaccine. You feel the effects of inadequate and insufficient health care. You are the ones who beg to buy the prescription medicines that they're not providing. You feel the effects of the high crime rate generally and the effects of the record murders in the country. You feel the effects of the extreme poverty which the Prime Minister himself said exists in the country. You are aware of what has been done to the NIS funds and now your pension has been put in jeopardy. You are the one who must refuse to continue to accept the pressure which they, the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, are putting on you to subdue you. You are the ones who must take action and put the pressure back on them. You have seen and heard what sustained public pressure and public outrage can achieve. It's time to put away your fears and put public pressure, sustained pressure, on those in authority to do better for you and for the country. Of course, if they can't do better, put pressure on them to leave. Draft letters, draft petitions, and get signatures, and send them to your parliamentary representatives. Send them to regional and international organizations, informing them of what Vincentians have been made to endure over the years and what Vincentians are continuing to endure under the current administration. Don't stop. Do what you must, because that is what sustained pressure is all about. Start if you have not yet started. Continue if you have already started. Don't be afraid to be the only one. Others will join in. You can be assured of that. Gather more people and apply pressure. Sustain the pressure to achieve positive results. As you do so, continue to remember what the British conservative or Tory politician said. He said, whatever people think, politicians respond to public pressure and public outrage. Vincentians, apply that pressure. Until next week, this is Burton Horn with a view from the outside, with a reminder to send your feedback as usual to a view from the outside at hotmail.com. We also invite you to visit and like our Facebook page at A View From The Outside and visit our YouTube channel at A View From The Outside. Have a pleasant Saturday, a wonderful Sunday and a productive week ahead.